a lot of people are really suspecting this uh, article. But uh, from the failures of APC, APC is fidgeting. Because uh, like uh, Pat Utomi said, Professor Pat Utomi said, he met with article Obi and Kwakwansu to form coalition so that they will be able to unseat Tinubu in 2027. And people have been asking this question, who are they going to uh, present? Who are they going to feed as the the card as the candidates if they form that coalition and APC is thinking that these guys because it is still the turn of the south it is still the stone of the south uh in 2027 and i believe that the northerners they have a very good understanding about that and APC is still thinking that maybe article and a might not want to feel themselves they might want to feel or they might not want to be no, to be fronted, they might want to feed Peter Obi, and that is where they are. Uh, that is where they are afraid of what is making them to panic, and they will do everything to make sure that uh, they the or, or suppress the ambition or they suppress the urge of Peter Obi if he does want to uh, contest in twenty twenty seven. Like uh, Prime Minister Yodeli came out and said, oh, even if uh, Obi. I, I think there was a there's a way he said it's whether one thousand whatever whatever if they support him that will be will never become president in twenty twenty seven and people are like who are you are you God or what and that is why you see that a lot of people are really coming for him there's nothing will be is going to say that they want to listen the next thing they will tell you that he's a religious by God he's an ethic by God and all those uh, lies here and there and the worst part of it is that we are seeing people who are supposed to be strong men in the oppositions they are falling for the antics of etinobu some of them are even coming out to say eh, 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 the critics or the whatever what i stood for eh, for some so, so so many years it has not yielded any positive results you can imagine so shame sh shameless set of people so another thing again is that those who are the on the, on the other side because you know that the uh, APC will continue to you know try to strategize to make sure that uh, they do everything and go ahead of uh, the opposition. But those who still believe that, well, in case if this a uh, coalition stands, what is Atiku looking for again? Because in my own opinion, in that twenty twenty seven, they they will not allow a south a northerner, a southerner to come in because if a southerner come comes in, they will say, oh, he's going to spend another eight years. They will see they might they will prefer Tinubu goes again so that they will they will finish uh, that they are eight years. They have the very good under, they have a very good understanding of oh this uh, okay, is your turn, it is not our turn. And that's why you see that a majority of the northern politicians are just uh, sitting back, no matter what Tinubu does, they are just looking at him. Majority of them are not even condemning the actions, whether the hunger or not. You know that the uh, people in the north, the hunger where they worry them before it's not a new thing to them so it is the people in the south that are crying more crying more about the suffering and the uh, hunger in the land because they are used to it so they will have that very good understanding because all they want is just that let their people just be there somebody from their place whether the person is doing good or not so how many of them are you seeing now or complaining that a uh, buari did not do well mm -mm. they were so happy they were comfortable with the governance or the style of Buhari has at that time, up to now, none of them is still condemning his action. So, as at that time, in 2027, they will do everything to make sure that uh, they just give that uh, opportunity to Tinubu so that by 20 or the, the by 2031, the North will come in. They won't even argue. But I think APC is not seeing it from that angle. The Opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, I said that without a genuine coalition, it will be difficult to take over power from the ruling or progressive congress. See, APC will never win. APC did not win the last election. They know the 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 dubious things they did for them to come to power, and that is exactly what they are going to be depending on. So no matter how the economy, no matter how the people will feel so bad, because they believe that they have a kind of backing. So. To me, all this uh, coalition or whatever is not going to help matter because in the last election they did not win. For INEC to uh, turn around 
and not to abide with his own rule. He should know that there is a fire on the mountain. And again, to make matter was the judiciary to they look the other side, telling us they using technicality here and there. So, to me, all this will not work. Whether they form a hundred coalitions, or it's not going to work because APC knows what and what to do to be able to retain power. The PDP's 2023 presidential candidate and former vice president Atiku Abubakar, while hosting the National Executive Committee of the Inter Party Advisory Council of Nigeria, made a major proposal to establish a strong opposition party that would be able to dislodge APC in 2027. Even though this article is becoming a suspect to me because I don't believe he believes in what he's doing. I think he's doing everything possible so that somebody from the south will not even unseat. Tinubu. Asikubu warned against the likelihood of Nigeria slipping into a one party state, was quoted as saying, We have all seen how the APC is increasingly turning Nigeria into a dictatorship of one party. If we don't come together to challenge what the ruling party is trying to create, our democracy will suffer for it, and the consequences of it will affect the generations yet unborn. In an interview with Punch, uh, PDP Deputy Publicity Secretary Ibrahim Abdullahi said that Asiku made a call to protect the future of Nigeria and Nigerians. Abdullahi alleged that the APC had impoverished Nigerians, saying that only a genuine coalition of opposition political parties could boot out the president, President Bola Tinubu led APC administration. We believe only major or coming together of all opposition political parties will produce a better result. So there is a need for other political parties to understand that it will be difficult to defeat the APC. So other political parties must see the reason and identify with the PDP's clamor for coalition. So if they see this, then the better for Nigeria's opposition and the people. But if other political parties who want to go about it individually, they are not as strong as the PDP. It is very difficult for us to attain the objective of taking charge of the government and sacking this army of occupation that has decided to inflict maximum penury and anguish on Nigerians, he said. Also, PDP's Deputy National Youth Leader Timothy Osadolo said that opposition Political parties would find it difficult to dislodge the ruling party without synergy with their people. So, what are you guys talking about? So, if PDP is strong as you claim, so why do they need other people to join them? Why do they need other people? The only, even if they want to gather, the only person they are targeting is Peter Obi because they saw the crowd the man pulled. They saw how a lot of people received him. Are you talking about Kapansu? Kapansu goes nowhere now. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have the the good rapport. Even in his own party, he does not even have it because it's like they've seen the kind of game he wanted to play. I think the governor of the state now uh, eventually might even be the leader. Of course, as the governor is going to be the leader of the party because the the manner at which Kapansu went with the whole thing, with Tinumbu, they were able to see that the guy wanted to uh, rob them of their birth rights, at least from there, for them to not to have lost that state because of Kwakwan Sose greed. So, when you talk about the coalition, all of them put together, it's only Obi that they are targeting, not any other person. How many people, how many votes did they score? Did they get in 2023? Did they get any votes now? So if PDP is strong, they should go ahead. The only person that they need is Ubi, and I, I will continue to armor on that. <laughs> what is Atiku looking for? So they are talking about other people should come so that they will be able to dislodge Tinubu. Who is now going to be the, uh, the, the, the candidate? Strong opposition party works as a watchdog of public interest in a democracy and criticizes the policies and programs of the government which they think are not in consonance with the public good. But the opposition should not oppose for the sake of opposition 
but should work for constructive opposition for the common good of the public. The opposition parties keep a watch over the government. Yeah, Mr. Wrestler, pack your loot and go. Truth is, Mr. PDP is capable of taking over power from any other political power in isolation of this idea of alliance or call it joint venture. Just let the right thing be done. Wiki talked about this issue partly gave out instances of all that e wiki said none was implemented no one that we found ourselves where we are today one zone cannot have everything in politics if and only if you can support any other presidential candidates from the alliance they are telling article that so guys what do you think let's know your own opinion thanks